So I believe, now that I have all three types of souls, yes, I can make the pickaxe axe. Which is capable of mining chlorophyte. Uh, damaged, less damage, that doesn't really matter to me, so that's fine. We can go ahead and sell this guy. And yeah, then I think I'm ready to head off into the jungle. Okay, I've made my way over to the hard mode jungle, and it has been providing a challenge. And so as a result, I plan to buff while I'm in here because I still have plenty of buff potions. Uh, these are the ones I'm going to be using. Spelunker, Night Owl, Regen, and Iron Skin. And here we are at the entrance to the jungle. We'll also keep an eye out for one more life root. But let's do this thing. And buff! Nice! All right, and there's a big patch of chlorophyte right here. So let's get to it and get our first chlorophyte ore of the game. Nice. Oh, I got a turtle shell from that tortoise that I just killed. Uh, and so that is very nice. Or perhaps it is a turtle rather than a tortoise. And wow, there's a chest there that doesn't have anything too good in it unless... Yeah, those are teleportation potions. I'm gonna keep those. Um, wow, I'm managing to take a fair amount of damage here, even with my buff potions going. Uh, but I also see a bunch of chlorophyte, and so I'm gonna mine this up. Here's some easily accessible chlorophyte. Now, it seems to me that you need, like, ten times as much chlorophyte as you could ever imagine that you need, uh, is my recollection of how this goes. And so, yeah, I should be very willing to go to some lengths to find big pockets of chlorophyte. Hey, and here's the last life fruit. Finally! We are up to the maximum 500 base life. That makes me happy. And yeah, I see lots of little pockets of chlorophyte around. I should probably be- oh, pirates! Pirates! Pirates are approaching. Um, this is a chance- so pirates also aren't supposed to happen unless you've broken a demon altar. Um, but okay. They will take a little bit of time to get there. There are some things I need to set up at home, though. So we are going to uh, quickly do some quick stacking and quick stacking and quick stacking um, and quick stack in here as well. Um, I want to grab these heart statues and we are going to go try teleporting up to my arena which does have the water candles out, okay, and let's see, if I turn this on, um, heart statues and heart statues can go here and here and they'll be giving hearts, uh, and should I set my spawn point here? I'm gonna try setting my spawn point here. Um, I'm gonna turn, uh, this off for just a moment, please, uh, okay. And let's see, let's hop down into the honey, and so I've got a switch over here that lets me get down into the honey for a buff. So I want to see if pirates start spawning up here, and if they start dying in the lava, or if pirates don't come up here to attack. There's a parrot, but do we see any other pirates? I'm seeing all kinds of parrots flying up, but maybe this is too high for the pirates to spawn? And if so, that would be a shame, because it means I'm going to have to fight them a bit more mano a mano. Uh, but it does seem like that is the case. If I step down to here, will any spawn? No, it doesn't seem like any are spawning other than these parrots. Alright, so it doesn't seem like this arena is going to work for pirates, and I'm presuming it's because it's too high in the air. Uh, I do have a rope down here, I'm just curious to see. Uh, of course I'm going to land right in my own... What do you call here? I'm just curious to see if I go down to like here... If any pirates... Okay, here's the parrots, for example. But if any pirates would start spawning up above me and kind of, like, come with me. I don't think that's actually going to happen, though. Oh, man. And these guys hit hard. Alright. So... That's a bummer. Okay, so, for future reference... How high am I right now? I am 492 feet above in a large world. Oh, there's a pirate. Um, there's one at least. 
But it seems like this is too high. And maybe just by a little bit, because the parrots are getting up here. Alright, so we'll know that for the future. Um, I think I'm going to grab my heart statues and see if I can possibly get them wired up again. Should I bother to try to wire them up? We're going to have pirates uh, trying to eat my eat my brains whenever we head downstairs. Um, I will try to wire them really quickly. Hearts, hearts. I think I'm going to go here, here, and here, and hopefully they've turned on. Alright, so let's just start attacking some pirates and kind of see what happens. Really don't know what to expect from this event. Adam is left. <laughs> Alright, all these guys getting slain. Um, I have some buff potions that I should be using, and so let's buff. And it's going to be when we get to the uh, pirate captain that we'll really get into trouble. And I do have some other better potions that I might should consider for this event. Um, but for the moment, let's just kind of see how it goes. Let me hop in some honey. And we will plan to mostly use the... Oh, boy. Can I use the phase saver on these guys, or is that going to be too much tanking? It seems like that's going to be too much tanking. And so I might... Oh, I should definitely get the uh, rain clouds raining down on these guys. That would be a good thing to do. And actually, if I stand up here, uh, a lot of them, except for the range guys, won't be able to hit me. And so I might just be able to kind of rain down on top of them uh, if they are going to stay down below. Yes, this could actually be a pretty good strategy. Get them all to go running through there. Parrots will come fly up at me. That's not a huge deal. We can lower everybody's defenses. The rain clouds are going up here. Alright, there's definitely... Yeah, a couple guys here who are getting up towards me. But this definitely seems like a possible place. If I could stay alive a bit longer, let's come down here and take out some of the ranged attackers. And let's also grab some hearts! Okay, and I hear the pirate captain. Uh, I didn't quite see him. Let's see if I can isolate the pirate captain, if possible. Uh, because he has a very strong ranged attack. I lost track of where he is. He's gotta be over here somewhere. Um, I'm not seeing him right now. Uh, let's go ahead... Oh, I hear him again. Let's refresh the rain clouds. Let's try to make sure everyone who's down here is getting a nice... Oh boy. Alright, this guy has something that he's firing at me. Alright, there's definitely a guy down here with some kind of machine gun or something. Not sure if it's the pirate captain or if there's someone else who does ranged weaponry. I can't remember right now. Oh, there's the pirate captain. This time I've seen him. Okay. Pirate captain spotted. I'm trying to rain down upon him. Uh, let's pick up some... I don't need the hearts, actually, right now. So let's just get everybody... Yeah, let's try to do some melee. Good, I think I took him out. Um, Alright, this strategy seems to be working pretty well so far, actually. Uh, basically rain clouds and stay above them. So let me get the rain clouds refreshed. Because they're probably running low. Let's get some nice crimson rain on these guys. Let's keep an eye on my buffs, which so far are doing pretty well. Okay, there's another pirate captain right down here somewhere. So let's try to bring him over towards the rain clouds. Take out any other ranged attackers. Alright, there's the pirate captain. I see him. Oh, crap. Alright, can I tank him? Kind of. Alright, but I think I may have gotten him down into some of the rain clouds again. Which is definitely a good thing to do. Alright, I'm going to do a little bit of tanking here. Okay, and now there's a bunch of hearts that I can come through. <laughs> oh, boy. Alright. This event is still fraught. Uh, but not with quite as much peril as I was expecting. Uh, these guys, I guess some of it is because I am in full hallowed armor uh, and have some very good weapons at this point. Uh, but these guys do seem manageable right at the moment. And my inventory still hasn't filled up with too much crap. So that's good. Um, let's see, are there any other things that I ought to be doing right now? Nothing springs to mind. And so let's just continue to try to stay alive. Make sure the parrots stay off of us. And, okay, there is another guy shooting cannonballs and different things at me down there. Uh, I see him. He's right here. Gonna tank him a little bit. Just because the phase saver does do a lot of damage. But then back off. Collect some of my hearts. I should really try to get in the honey once again. If possible. So let's go take a quick dip. The pirates have been defeated! Wow, that was pretty quick. 
Um, let's kill off the stragglers. Um, and I think... Is it wise to heal? It's probably wise to heal. Can I get a honey buff? I can. There are a bunch of hearts here. Uh, who's still... Yeah, I need to heal. There's still at least one pirate captain, I believe. Uh, and he is gonna own me if I'm not careful. That's not him. Here he is. Okay. Took him out, and the music has changed. Okay, we did it. <laughs> wow. Um, that was intense. <laughs> uh, but definitely the fact that the pirates can't jump or fly, except for the parrots, uh, definitely means that having this thing way above this thing uh, was a real help. And so I'm going to try to remember that for future pirate encounters. Um, we may have killed some parrots over here, and so I just want to see uh, if there are any other coins and things. Yeah, laying on the ground right over here. All right, well, let's head home and see if we got anything amazing. Uh, right, ho home is currently over here. Pirate staff, summon damage, summons pirates to fight for you. Fascinating. Um, I see, it's a little pirate. I think that might be new. Uh, or at least I haven't had that item before. Since it's only 32 damage... Oh, that's better than my imp staff. Great, we can use a pirate now. Uh, all right, I can finally retire the imp staff. That's actually a really good thing. All right, so the pirate staff will go in there. I can even reforge it, probably. So let's let's actually sell some of the golden furniture if it sells for any amount, and see if there's any other beautiful things here that I want to keep. I don't think so. All right, let me clear out some inventory. Okay, inventory is somewhat cleared out. Let's see how much it costs to reforge the pirate staff to see if we can get extra damage. One gold. I'm willing to try a bunch of reforging here. So, I'll see you when I get something. Ooh, six damage, 11 speed. I bet you I could do even better than that. Godly, 16 damage, five. Yeah, there we go. That is the pirate staff for me. All right, so let's summon a little pirate guy. And apparently, we have a new NPC. We have Captain Bullywort. Yo ho ho, and a bottle of blink roots. What does he sell? Cannons, cannonballs, some vanity items, and a sail that can be placed. Fascinating. All right, uh, I was in the middle of trying to collect some chlorophyte. Let's actually talk to the guide about chlorophyte. Obviously, we can smelt it into bars. That appears to be the only thing we can do with it. And so let's smelt some into bars so that we can ask the guide about the chlorophyte bars. Six. Six chlorophyte ore per bar means we need to collect a lot of it. And let's see. So there will be an amazing chlorophyte mask that's got 25 defense, as opposed to the hallowed mask has 24 defense. So... That's not bad. How about the chest plate? 18 versus 15. So we could get a little bit more armor if we did a bunch of that. And then there's some crazy chlorophyte weapons. 76 melee damage on the claymore. And it shoots a powerful orb. I remember having that weapon before in the past. Oh, right, and the turtle armor set. How many turtle shells do I have? I've been stacking them in here. I have two of the three I would need for the turtle armor. If I want to go full melee damage, uh, that is another possibility as well. Oh, wow! I just randomly uh, had another fishing quest that I could finish. And I got the golden fishing rod. Is that what you get at 50%? Maybe the high test fishing line was just lucky. And that's the thing that you get after 50 fishing things. I think it might be, actually. But it's got 50% fishing power, as opposed to the sitting duck fishing pole, which had 40%. And so that is amazing. All right, so we have extra fishing power, and we have the high test fishing line that we could equip next time we need to go fishing. Um, all right, let me see where we're at in an episode and see what I want to do next. It looks like this episode's going to be a little bit shorter than usual, but I'm going to go ahead and finish things up here because it is getting late. It's going on two in the morning 
here, and I want to get another episode rendered before I go to bed. I've been playing tons of this map. I have no idea when this is going to air, um, but it is currently still just February 17th. No, I guess February 18th now, because we're past midnight here. And I've just been recording episode after episode because I'm just having so much fun with this map. And so I hope that you guys are enjoying it. Um, at this point, the only thing that's keeping me from doing even more is the fact that I have to render out these episodes. And so I can only record a couple episodes at a time, and then I have to render them and record a couple of more. And so I'm trying to render as much uh, at night when I'm going to bed as I can. I don't know why I'm telling you all of this right now. It's probably just to extend the length of the episode. <laughs> I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you again soon with more Terraria Colberia. I can't wait looking forward to defeating Plantera because it means we get to go check out some more of the dungeons that the map maker has created that were inaccessible until I get the temple key, and so I'm looking forward to that, too. Yeah, just having tons of fun. Hope you guys are as well. Bye-bye.